Hello traders and welcome to the weekly outlook and setups one 51 Italia here and as always I'm super excited to see you on my channel as you know we're gonna have a look at the market how it developed what opportunities do we have and what can we expect for the upcoming week to be honest I finished with a little loss this week I was caught by tons of manipulation and um, choppiness actually and on Friday we finally had some moves but again I, I'm gonna show you in this video how the market just moves sideways right now because it is really influenced on a fundamental basis like uh, it's constantly risk on risk off the economy is opening and uh, as you can see actually the dollar is not a safe haven because um, the economy of the US is doing pretty bad which means that people start selling the dollar we see the yen starting to climb up as well which is a good thing and we're gonna have a look at everything so the winner have been picked from the previous video I have commented below their comments so make sure to check your comment guys and uh, yeah, just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Crypto Rocket. It's an amazing broker, especially for crypto. It has all the 56 currency pairs though, so you can definitely check them out. Link will be down in the description. So if you already did, let's see what do we have for the week ahead. As always guys starting from the DXY to have a look at the dollar and to see where it might take us into the next week so as you can see a pretty strong weekly engulfing candle finally and we had that massive moves right here and since then the market has been consolidating but actually right now we almost broke below this low right here which we're gonna see uh, on the lower time frames so from the weekly time frame bearish candle break below the EMA which is a good uh, thing as well we can expect further continuations but from the daily time frame we have that structure that was created push to the downside pull back lower high formation fib level right here a beautiful one look at that 61.8 percent extension uh retracement and the extension perfectly met to the pip so right now though looking at the daily time frame I think that we're gonna start a little bit bullish as a pullback into the highs right here and then we're gonna create another push to the downside and potentially this uh, again depends on the fundamental analysis if the dollar is gonna remain weak then we are gonna see a new downtrend so all the swing lows right here were, were fulfilled we were looking at those uh, especially on the four hourly time frame so we had let me just plot a few levels we had that low right here and we had this one so they were both fulfilled as you can see first step the market uh, found this as a demand area strongly pushed up but then we tapped into it again broke below closed below retested but then we emerged on top but actually if we just follow structure this was another lower high we thought that the market was going to retrace a little bit started to consolidate and as as i told you on friday and uh, thursday actually late thursday we had that strong push to the downside actually breaking below this level and and breaking and closing below this one but from the daily time frame we see a little wick which wick actually creates that little pullback so dropping a little analysis uh, from the four hourly time frame I can see that the market has been creating very minor lower highs there is one right here the EMA is strongly pointing down meaning that we're in a strong bearish trend we already have two rejections right here but I think the market will not push down immediately on market open because as you saw from the daily time frame we can expect a little bit of a push to the upside so this push though might break a little bit of a structure here to the upside but still knowing that we're overall bearish and the market just might find resistance from the four hourly levels and then continue pushing down we might come to retest this kind of area which aligns with a potential 61.8 uh, percent i would say yeah a little bit above but into the area of the 78 and the 61 so we can expect the market maybe to give us one more run to the upside to find the rejections right here to create some bullish structure on the hourly time frame which we're gonna have a look for a break in the retest later it's very important to visualize the market something like this a little uptrend being created then we wait for the break of that uptrend for the retest potential head and shoulders as well something like this and this will be the opportunity that I will be looking for so overall short bias on the DXY let's see what the other pairs has for us beautiful weekly candle on euro usd as you can see we finally broke above this kind of weekly consolidation which is going to be very clear on the daily strong break and close above currently about to encounter a little bit of resistance just right here i see there is a little structural resistance that potentially is going to be illustrated better on the daily yeah you can see there is a little high here right here push a uh, little correction and another push so maybe we can expect a little bit of a slowdown right here actually we're tapping 1.11 and 1. 
1150. This is kind of a key area in the market. So very similar, guys, to the DXY. We have a push, a pullback, higher low, beautiful Fibonacci level right here. And right now we fulfilled all the extensions. So from daily time frame, it's pretty simple to actually forecast what's, what might happen. We might have a pullback for another FIP sequence. This time we get it from here to here. 61.8 and the 50% zone is perfectly aligning with the with the last broken structure right here. So translating all of this information for the full hourly, what can we do maybe in the beginning of the week? We can start looking for shorts, right? So uh, what were the opportunities on this one? So we spotted this right here as a potential lower high. Why? Because the market broke all of the structure on the left. We had a little retest right here, a little short opportunity. The market pushed down, started to find resistance right here, but uh, see, it failed to break below. And then we actually had a break above, a break above the EMA and a strong impulsive move to the upside. What do we do? We immediately adjust. Here it is. Beautiful 50% Fibonacci. But uh, there was a big spike right here. And this is uh, the first stop hunt actually that we were stopped out. So we were looking for longs on this one exactly right here at this consolidation box. So we were waiting for a break of the consolidation box of a retest. And uh, we entered on the retest and look what happened then. Boom. Stop hunt. All the people went short as well right here because they thought we we're going to have a continuation. And then the market just boom, upside with no retracement back. But usually this new scandal will get filled to the downside. And what we observe later is a pullback because this is just madness. The market cannot move like this so fast and keep pumping up. It will always retrace back to normalize. And from then, we actually had some uh, bullish bias. Where is my chart? Yep. So we had this, we had a pullback, a push, a pullback. Again, as you can see, very simple break and retest of structure. If I go to the hourly time frame, uh, we have that impulse, a little bit of a correction right here, a little uh, flag formation if you if you trade those. And then we had another impulse pullback and actually ended the week pretty, pretty, pretty bearish. Uh, sorry, bullish, but we were stopped out on this ugly manipulation. So what can we expect, guys? As I told you from the daily time frame, we might come down to retest this kind of area. But from four hourly perspective, it looks perfectly bullish. So what I will pay attention to is this last higher low. Because this is a higher low. It didn't pull back clearly to retest to a fib level or to structure. But it created two little candles right here, which were actually broken later and created a higher high. And the market is already rejecting from that level. So what I need to see is the market to break a little bit below, to come back for a quick retest back. And then I can potentially take a little day trade into the lows right here. This will be perfectly seen on the hourly time frame as well, because you can see so far we have bullish structure. The market pulls down. What I expect on market open is the market to push up a little bit, to fail to break this structure high right here, and to start shifting to the downside. So two scenarios, you, we would either have a break in the retest of this higher low, or second scenario, we would either have a test of the high, the market will fail to break above, and then you know what to do. So let's see EURUSD, overall extremely bullish, but I think there will be a slight pullback to the downside first. Euro JPY weekly time frame, a uh, very strong euro as you can see, and weak yen. So I saw some pushes on the on USD JPY, and I thought the the yen was strong actually, but we can see that the weakness is prevailing right here, and the euro is super strong. So what we can say from the weekly time frame is that we have an overall reversal signal right here. This potential lower high was broken. The market closed above that wick, actually filled the wick, which is a beautiful formation. And if we translate this to the daily time frame, we have the similar structure that started forming just from here when uh, yeah, just have a look at the structure guys it's just beautiful so we have this downtrend first the market creates a lower high creates a beautiful lower low we expect the pullback we drop our fib this is a beautiful 61 again beautiful 61 we expect the short and a new lower low however the market tries to push down failure failure for two days boom massive break above and we immediately have to adapt to it why because then the market creates a new high breaks above this major lower high pulls back for another beautiful Fibonacci and then we have four days of bullish action. And this is all from the daily time frame. So from four hourly time frame, uh, we had that similar situation right here, but this was just a higher high. The market was bound to pull back. We pulled back. We formed that little consolidation. We broke out of the consolidation. We pulled back for a retest right here. Not a retest, but a higher low. And then again, it's all the same. Strong break above, pull back into the previous broken structure higher low formation, hourly time frame, strong impulse, correction. If you go to the 15 minute, you will see your entry right here. And then you have another one, push, correction again, the, those flag formation. You see how the market has been moving in, in such formations recently, like this, 
push pullback push pullback push actually we had pretty nicely uh trending market but uh <clears throat> i was just caught on the wrong pairs and this is okay guys it's all about transparency like um those traders that post just winners uh not nice because uh, we all have losses so having a look at the euro jpy right now uh, from daily time frame again i would expect a little pullback for our time frame is extremely bullish where is my last higher low is just right here we are currently expecting a retest of the previous higher high and a continuation to the upside the hourly time frame is already starting to reject at the top so if we fail to break above this st hourly structure have a strong push down have a retest something like this the scenario is this pull back into the previous structure trying to create a higher high but failing to create a higher high stopping around this kind of area creating actually a lower high and this will be my trade to the downside targeting the uh yeah potentially either the daily level to the downside or just some four hourly levels and seeing for how long it's gonna push down what might happen as well and this is why i always tell you guys and i even created a, a video on how to flow with the market if the market pushes up here you can take a long for example but make sure to go break even around this point because there is always a scenario that the market will not pull back to a daily level and it will continue creating a new higher high so let's see what happens i am slightly bearish on this one because i want to see those pullbacks but always make sure that if you have a break in the retest to act on also usd weekly time frame there is something to point out here because we've been looking for shorts since quite some times quite some videos and as you can see the more you look for shorts the more the market pushes up and as you can see, because all the people were looking for shorts right here, because this looks like a perfect push and a pullback, 61.8% FIP potentially if I just drop a FIP from swing, from swing high to swing low, you can see 61.8 rejection slowing down around here. But at the end of the day, the market does the opposite that the majority thinks. And this is why it's important to monitor structure, because if you monitor structure, guys, you will never take a short because we just simply have a bullish market, right? The only situation right here was that failure to make a new higher high, pull back, but failure to make a new lower low, right? And then we pushed up again, beautiful retest on the daily time frame, something like this for a higher low, and then we ended up bullish. But this week was actually pretty choppy, so no trades on that one. And if we go to the forward time frame to break structure, oops, uh, let me close that one. Where is where are you? Okay, if we go to the four-hour time frame to break structure, it is actually, yeah, it is actually stuck in a consolidation. Like the simplest analysis on this one will be this, but I would like to break it down more. So we have this level right here of, of resistance that the market is failing to break above, but still you can see that the overall trend is bullish. So what I need to see is when the market is going to take real control because yes the buyers are in control right now but we're failing to break above so a trade for me will be a strong break above close above stay a little bit above then a pullback and then a continuation for our perspective as well you see how many times this has been failing to break if we have a strong break retest then we can have a continuation keep in mind that uh, around such levels the market loves to manipulate because all the people will go long on the breakout then they will induce retest uh, traders and then potentially the market might just flush. But you have to act on your edge. And if you have a break in the retest, you have to act on it. And if, you're getting, if you get stopped out, then you're immediately going to readjust to the bearish market. So this is the, this is the setup that I'm looking at, just looking to see when the market is going to take out and to where. We have a little bit of a bullish structure with a resistance right here. So be patient and let's wait. Also, JPY weekly time frame, similar price action to AU as they're correlated. And we can see that actually the yen is pretty weak because we have all the JPYs pushing up. So from weekly time frame, very bullish price action, meaning that we have an uptrend on the daily time frame. Uh, as you can see, beautiful uptrend. However, something to point out, you can see how the pushes used to be stronger with more candles. However, this last push was just one candle and then consolidation. So still we have the break in the retest of the previous high very immediate one but i see that the market is running out of steam a little bit and maybe we might be about to pull back a little bit to the downside the structure is overall bullish we still have that level right here that the market is currently encountering but it's already too high so i will not be looking for buys my buy scenario will be similar to au a potential break for a higher high and a retest for a higher low however i kind of get the feeling that this might push down a little bit but the structure is overall bu bullish for now the trend is bullish so we keep with it so let's see what happens this is the setup guys i don't want to shout any setups on that one because there is no 
uh, like potential trade that we can look at. I just want to see where the market will take off on, on Monday and then try to reanalyze and see where it wants to go because it's at the top right here. There is no buy opportunity. There is no sell opportunity because uh, we haven't we don't have any hourly uh, setup right now. Potentially, we want to see a pull away, come back down for a double tap and then uh, a new downtrend being created in order to take a short. But as you can see, overall, the market has been extremely choppy right here. You don't know what to expect. So I would just suggest to wait for a little bit more clear price action. NZUSD weekly time frame. Uh, let's see what do we have here. Actually, the market uh, broke the, the highs for the first time on the weekly time frame. Break and close above the highest point right here, which is this week, which is which is pretty significant. So we can start definitely looking for longs on this one. But I believe price is too high right now, so we can expect a little bit of a pullback. So uh, I took a little short on that one this week and I lost it. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. From, but from daily perspective, you see that strong resistance level right here that was broken and, and it was actually retested a few times. But I thought the market was going to pull back a little bit down. So uh, let me show you actually more opportunity. It was a little bit yeah, non-high probability because as I just told you, we had a strong push to the upside and a retest back at this area, daily area, in order for the market to continue uh, up, right? But what I saw... Is this double top simple break and the retest of this kind of structure so i took my short around that area if i just uh, draw a little line right here and try to spot where the trade actually was yeah i was stopped out by that wick right here uh, so where i entered exactly let me drop to the 15 minutes time frame yeah so you can see how the market was trending up 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 and then it started to break above you see the high then we have a lower high, then we have a lower low. And I believe I entered after that lower low. So was it right here? Something like this or a little bit down? Yeah, roughly around that area, guys. And I think I have my stop loss. I had it safe, like it was a tight stop loss, but it, it was too safe. Then boom, manipulation above. Then I said, oh yeah, this was manipulation. I didn't want to re-enter and I'm so happy that I didn't because actually the market ended up bullish right now. But uh, I think you, you, you see my thought process. This was simply market trending up. I had that strong impulse to the downside, correction, break of structure as well. Uh, break below, creating a new downtrend. I waited for a simple pullback. I entered the trade and then boom, stop hunt. Well, it's, it was not stop hunt. Yeah, maybe it was because then we strongly push down, then we strongly push up, then we strongly push down and it's just a mess. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. We sometimes lose. Uh, and if we go right now to have a look what is happening, I will not drop a big analysis on this one. <laughs> what I will do is my favorite one. When you just have a look at the market, guys, what is it doing? I really hope that you would all agree that it is consolidating and there is no aim to try to break down structure because there is no clear one. If I drop to the hourly time frame, you can see top, bottom, top, bottom. So just wait for a break and a retest and to see where the market might take you. Overall trend is up. But we either want to see a retest of the lows right here with rejection, 100% rejection and a shift on the lower time frames, or you want to see a break and a strong break and close above this week as well, and then a retest for confirmation and then continuation up. So let's see what happens with the NZD. NJ, very similar price action, so we're not going to waste too much time right here. As you can see, strong weekly candle closing above uh, all of that structural resistance right here and breaking above the EMA, which is a pretty good thing to note. Daily time frame, uh, as you can see, mad, mad, mad price action right here. We finally pushed strong up with a strong impulsive move. We had a little bit of a retest right here into previous structure and we ended up creating a higher high and consolidating at the top. So from daily time frame, similar to the other pairs, we can expect a little bit of a pullback to the downside. And breaking down to the four hourly time frame, we have absolutely the same structure as NZD USD as they're correlated. We take our rectangle. So even if price pulls back into this low right here, it will be a break of the consolidation. So you can say, okay, let's go short. But this is where you might get confused because uh, you know from the daily time frame that the market is overall up. So what my advice on this one is, guys, when you start confusing yourself between the different time frames, try to stick to one time frame. So if I see a break with a beautiful retest on the on the hourly time frame for a short, I will take the short. Because we don't know for how long, if, if the market retraces right here, we don't know for how long the market will push down and we might even hit take profit. Uh, because the more you look at the chart, the more over, over complicated 
the more you overcomplicate it, then you will not be taking trades. So let's see what happens. If we have a strong break below this consolidation with a little retest, I will take a short. And what my tip is, make sure to go break even as fast as possible. Secure your profits when you're taking like uh, taking trades like this, because if you expect a reversal from here, then there is no aim for you to take a short right here with a stop loss like this and run for take profit like this. Your take profit should be very slow, uh, at least one to two. And uh, just make sure to secure your trade as fast as possible and then just flow with the market. So let's see what happens on that one. Overall bullish, but if I see a break of structure, then I will potentially act on a retest. USDJPY weekly time frame. Let's see where the yen might take us. So from the weekly time frame, we don't have uh, something uh, to look at. Actually, we have a week to the downside, and the market actually ends up bullish, which is a good thing. But we are still in a bearish market, as you can see, the EMA is pointing down, and we are finding resistance from it. Daily time frame. Why I said the yen was um, uh, strong was actually I meant that it's weak because we have uh, strong USDJPY and I got confused by that because this is actually the yen being weak if UJ is pushing up, right? So daily time frame, uh, strong wick to the downside, push up again, but have a look at all of those wicks to the upside. It's a complete mess. It's a consolidation for quite some time right here. And if we drop to the four hour time frame, here is your consolidation. We finally thought that we have a break, but the market does this all the time right now. When it after a break, boom, back into the back into the zone, and uh, we actually had a pretty nasty trade. This one, uh, a lot of people from the community took it because uh, this is, yeah, this is basically how we trade. We spot from the four hourly time frame hour analysis, then going down to the 15 minute, and it was actually pretty simple, guys. Consolidation, break of consolidation, beautiful retest, and then we take the trade from here. And it really depends on your stop loss and your entry. If you enter with a weak entry and your stop loss is above here, you don't get stopped out. But if you enter down there after the bearish engulf and you press and you put your stop loss right here, you get stopped out by manipulation. And then the market actually ends up strongly pushing down and providing a massive R and R. But uh, yeah, and even after this one, we were looking for a re-entry right here, but the market just plummeted with no pullback. And this is what the market has been doing, guys. I am not getting my perfect setups the, since quite a lot of time, and we definitely have to adapt to it, but uh, it is what it is. So what I expect on this one, I really don't know, uh, because if, ha if price was down there without this strong bullish candle, I would say a retest of this one and a continuation down. But as price is back up right now into this very strong weak area right here, then I would just want to see how does it react from that area. Uh, very strong candle, the hourly starting to react, but we will definitely need some more price action around that area in order to see if the market is actually going to go down or if it's going to continue up. So what I would advise you is to keep that strong resistance level right here. Don't rush for shorts on Monday. Let's see what it has to do for shorts. I want to see the market pull away, then come back to fill that structural level right here to create this sort of structure. Uh, lower high potentially or a double top and then I can look for a break and retest on lower time frames and go for the short into the lows right here or into this structure but as I said UJ is completely uh yeah, it's really not a nice pair to trade right now because of the uncertainty so let's just monitor and let's see what happens on Monday. USDCAD weekly time frame being extremely quick on this one because the price action was a mess. We have a very strong engulfing candle, but this whole bearish move actually started exactly in the beginning of the week. Uh, of the week, yeah, this is Monday, a little bit of a consolidation, and then we had this massive strong move to the downside, and then we consolidated for uh, three days. So overall, you can see that this market has been stepping down, and I think I um, told you this in uh, on some of the previous volumes. But we have this very strong supportive level right here. Actually, right now we broke close below and stay below, which is very major. So we can wait for daily time frame for a retest of that area. What we have on the four hour time frame is the market strongly pushing up. Then we thought that this was a higher low right here to continue up, but the market strongly broke below, failed to break above and broke below. Little retest right here. I am really not sure if there is a trade on that one. Very, it, if there is, it would be very aggressive. Yeah, you can see on the 15 minute this little pullback. If you, but if you just take the structure as it is, it didn't pull back to structure perfectly and uh, just left those wicks. So if you got into that trade, that would have been massive. But it's not my trading time as I see right now. And then the market just started to chop. As you can see, whole week of doing nothing. So. From daily, uh, from the daily time frame, what I could expect the market to do is to push a little bit higher, because I think it's gonna pull back to at least the fib level, at least the 38.2, something like this. It tried to tap but 
couldn't really if we do the fib like this then it would tap but uh this is why fibs are yeah a little bit subjective so let's see how the market is gonna pull back potentially into the structure and then we can look for shorts but if the market decides to break to the downside we can look for immediate shorts right here but i personally would love to see this market pull back a little bit up so uh maybe what you can do as well is to mark your high uh, I let's say that this is our major high right here. You can look for a strong break and retest. You can take a long right here uh, to, to trade it up until the pullback, but don't go for uh, more take profit than this one because this is the structure. This is the Fibonacci level as well. Uh, so don't go too greedy and let's see what happens. So overall, short bias on UCAT, but I feel that we're going to have a pullback first and then take our short. USD Swiss franc, messy price action as well. What we can see from the weekly time frame is lots of wicks to the upside and right now we have a bearish engulf but right here we have a bearish engulf then the market pushed up immediately so i just i i'm afraid to give any expectations on the market currently because when we see something like this we think okay we have bearish momentum and then the next day the market is boom back up again so from daily time frame what do we have we have a ugly big consolidation so this is a whole big triangular formation right here i don't trade those and, the, and we can say right now that it, it is breaking down uh, I'm not sure how those are traded on the breakout and on the retest, but if I just zoom in to, to have a look at my structure right here, I can see that the overall the market was trending a little bit down, creating lower lows, a uh, lower high, sorry, push down, pull back, lower high, strong push down, break below the low, which is major. However, right now we have to deal with all of those strong demand areas right here. And if we drop to the quality time frame, uh, we had some uh, strong bearish move, strong bullish move, strong bearish move, pullback, failure to break above, potential short right here, but I don't think there was an opportunity on that one. Yeah, well, potentially, yes, uh, then we have this strongly our strong hourly setup uh, support and then like that the market broke and didn't come back for a retest, which is a pity. So no trades on that one for me personally this week. So what we can expect... Uh, I see that the price is already too low, so I would expect a pullback because we expect pullbacks uh, always, but they don't always happen. However, this is how the market usually moves, so we have to see it. So well, let's see, this is a lower low. I want to see a lower high back into the previous structure or something like this, which already got retested as well, but I want to see the market to clearly form a lower high and then I can take a short into the demand area right here, which is uh, around 96, 0 0.96. This kind of area and if we break below this area then we are gonna uh, potentially go to tap the lows the market moves from zone to zone so if this is our current zone and if it breaks then price is gonna take us into the next zone so let's see what i what is my setup pull back lower high formation taking a short first take profit right here if i see a break then i can take a scale in uh pull back into this structure again and then i can write this down so basically this is it uh, but it, again, it largely depends on the dollar. If the dollar could, continues with its weakness, if Euro USD starts to push up as well, this one will flush for sure. So uh, let's be patient and let's wait for our setup. All right, let's have a look at the GBP starting from GU. I took a loss on this one this week. So what do we have from the weekly time frame? This looked like a beautiful lower high in order for the market to continue down. It tried to continue down. It gave us a little wick right here. The wick is filled right now but the week ends up bullish so from daily time frame as well what we can see is the market creating this sort of structure we said about the break we said about a retest and then the market trying to push down but when this week opened we had a little indecision boom strong engulfing candle and i ignored this a little bit because this was actually a break of daily structure and a retest back but what i saw from the flowerly time frame was actually this so i saw a strong push to the upside then a strong push to the downside and then the market started to fail to break above this kind of area and i said mm, okay we might be having a lower high right here so i'm gonna take a short but i didn't pay too much attention that the overall momentum was up so i went to the hourly time frame i saw a strong impulse to the downside a little bit of a consolidation right here then when i went to my 15 minutes time frame let's see where did i took the trade ah yeah exactly right here so the, when the market pulled away came back up again failed to break strong push to the downside break of structure just right here so i took the trade uh right here stop loss above the highs i'm not sure how many it was 17 or 18 pips and uh yeah then i uh, right at the price. Oh, I think I entered a little bit lower with the higher stop loss because I couldn't go break even. Yeah, but exactly because the market pushed down first, as you can see, push down and then boom, stop hunt and then tried to push down again. I was thinking for re entry, but I said, nah, 
I don't want to do this. And then the market actually ended up reversing to the upside. So the overall mistake of that one was uh, probably not paying attention to the daily and to the overall momentum. But I saw my setup. I saw the family was failing to break right here. So I thought that we might have a short. And uh, it, it's a pity that the market just uh, triggered me in right here. Tried to push down, failed and boom massive explosion to hit my stop loss then it reversed back i thought okay now we're going down i was a victim of stop hunt but then at the end of the day it continued pushing up and it started to chop big time so from forward time frame what we can see is that the market is actually failing to to strongly close above uh, this kind of structure and it's creating this sort of a double top this is not a val valid double top yet because we haven't broken the neckline the overall the market oops overall the market is moving up as you can see in this overall uptrend, where is my last structure that I want to have a look at? Well, this is uh, manipulation right here again. We had a manipulation down and then back up again. So we have, well, let's say we have this kind of area right here. And if I drop to the hourly time frame, you're going to see how the market is stuck between this kind of ranges. So what I want to see on the GU guys is a clear direction because I don't have it yet. From the weekly time frame, we can say we're bearish daily time frame. We can say we have a break in the retest to go up. Forward time frame is consolidating, so just waiting for something to happen. What might happen is a break in the retest to the upside, a strong break in the close below this kind of structure to retest and then potentially to start trending down. So what I will tell you is just to flow with the market, see the structure, have your levels set and just wait for a break in the retest for new lower lows, lower highs or higher highs and higher lows. GJ. Um, Weekly time frame, similar situation. We are having a, <clears throat> a pullback into the structure right here. Daily time frame, uh, similar as well. So we had that where the market opened. Yeah, it opened right here. So we were creating beautiful bearish structure. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. We expected the market to continue down. And this being another lower high. But when the market opened, it gave us a little bit of a consolidation. Then boom, broke above. Retest, 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 but nothing major actually. If I go to the forward time frame, it was just consolidating. You can see, tried to push down, uh, which was actually looking like a strong push, a pullback for a higher low. Tried to push up, failed, tried to push down, failed, tried to push up, failing again. So what do we have, guys? You know it. Boom. Consolidation. What do we want to see is clear direction on the GBPs. Again, you see everything is uncertain. The market doesn't know where to pick up. So you definitely have to zoom in into the lower time frames to have a look for those trades. But sometimes when the market is indecisive, even those fast trades don't work. Just a few pips. But if you if you're caught in the wrong place, in the wrong direction, then you're still going to lose, although you're scalping the market. So let's just wait for a clear direction what i want to see is out of the market to continue up to create a higher high then i will patiently wait for my higher low or the market to start trending down maybe we can take a short from here if the market breaks breaks below the hourly level like this i a little tip for me always make sure to mark your different levels with different colors so you don't confuse yourself hourly uh full hourly consolidation hourly structure break in the retest below we will take me back to the to the range support and then if the range support breaks in the retests then i can be taking shorts so again let's see what happens let's go with the flow uh we usually analyze gbp aud but i have removed it from my watch list uh, because it's extremely choppy and i just don't want to have a look at it uh, so as you can see, weekly time frame, what do we have? We have just price moving down, very little candle, very low volume. Uh, daily time frame, we are currently sitting that low right here. And as you can see, five days of doing nothing. And all direction, GA used to be very volatile and it actually is. Uh, but this doesn't work with my strategy because you see wicks, wicks, wicks everywhere. And uh, if I have wicks on my trades, then I will possibly get stopped out because I use tight stop losses which is why I recently actually enlarged my stop losses and adapted to a little bit more swing trading perspective, but still uh, the market hit me hard. So uh, it is what it is. But just having a look at this, guys, uh, I don't think there is something to analyze on this one rather than just price sitting at this consolidation right here on the on the full hourly. Yes, daily time frame, nothing much to have a look at. Hourly time frame, choppiness. So if you either take a short from the top or buy at the bottom, this is... Uh, your rules, I don't do this, but I, what I will do is wait for a break in the retest always. So this is GA and we finally have EuroGBP as well. Having a quick look at it. 
Uh, oh, my analysis from previous week stays. I'm not looking at this overall. So what do we have? So I think we were looking for a higher low right here because we have a strong push to the upside, a pullback. And we said we want to see a break above this level, a retest, and then the market to continue up. Exactly the opposite happened, happened though. This is why I always give you a few scenarios. The market tried to break down, failed actually here. It broke down with this candle and retested this level. And we had a short. But after the short, what the market does, what it always does right now, short, you think, okay, we're going down, boom, up. But maybe the daily, yeah, exactly. The daily time frame was bullish. As you can see, strong push, pullback, strong push, pullback. Strong push with a big wick on top. How is the weekly looking? Well, a big wick as well. So how I would analyze this market right now, just from full hourly perspective, strong push to the upside, massive bullish candle, met immediately by some strong resistance. Where is my last kind of structure that I can spot? It's right here. What I wanna see is I wanna see how the market will potentially stay above that area because if it starts to find support right here then i can potentially look for break of trend lines on the lower time frames or retest then and i can take a long but this will only happen if i start seeing the market slow down a little bit here find some support find some bullish pressure to break the trend line retest and then i will be taking longs but if the market doesn't do this then i will be waiting for a break and then retest to the downside and then i will be taking a short down into this lows so those are the GBPs, guys. Um, not much clear price action, so make sure to give it some time to see where it actually wants to go. Go to weekly time frame. Just having a very quick look because uh, I don't want to trade go right now, and I'm just staying away from it because with all the uncertainty, goats uh, will not move as we want it to move, like it usually does. Weekly time frame, big wick to the downside. Is wick gonna get filled to the downside? We shall see at the open of the next week. Daily time frame, what do we have? We have a consolidation. The market tried to break above that consolidation, retest, but failed and actually pushed down. We thought there were short shorts incoming from this kind of area. You're gonna see it much better on the flowerly time frame. Have a look at this broken structure right here. Uh, it was a Fibonacci level as well, swing high, swing low. 61.8% was broken, but we rejected from the 78.6. There were still shorts incoming. However, I want you to spot this. Market tries to push down, fails tries to push down fails and I believe in my Friday analysis I said well this is not uh, looking like sales and it actually ended up pushing up but uh, if you know what you're doing with gold you can still catch those uh, pullbacks right here or you can still catch the breakout trades so if you trade gold right now guys make sure to know what you do I will be completely honest with you I'm not trading gold right now because it doesn't work uh, good with my strategy and I just don't like the current economic situation and the current bias of gold because if you just have a look it's moving between ranges it doesn't have a clear direction so I would just stay away but if you want my analysis I see that the market broke above the structure coming back for a retest so we can potentially have a little pullback into this zone right here and potentially have a little push to the upside it looks like an inverse head and shoulders as well if you can spot a left shoulder head right shoulder to be created right now something like this so maybe there are some bulls incoming if the dollar is weak gold will be strong so let's see what happens Having a very quick look at the indices as well, US 30 and NASDAQ. Uh, to be honest, guys, I am not trading those, especially during this time, and I'm still studying them and how they move. So weekly time frame again, US 30 strong push down, pullback. We thought that the market will collapse from here, but it didn't. Looks very similar to the Aussie pairs. Uh, from daily time frame, uh, what we can see right here is that the overall structure right here, structural resistance was broken. Currently coming for a retest, this week will potentially get filled, so we are going to have our pullback into the structure and then we can be looking for longs like this. This is from the daily time frame and the flow hourly time frame, actually, uh, where the market opened. Can I find it? 25th. Yeah, right here. The market just opened, started strongly to push above with no pullback down, just a strong push. And then at the end of the week, we had a little pullback. Ended up the week with a strong bullish candle, but I still believe that we're going to pull back a little bit to the downside to create a higher low. And then we can potentially be looking for longs on this one. But everything is uncertain. I, the economy is opening right now and I would actually expect the stocks to drop. And uh, I'm quite surprised that I actually look at uh, Nasdaq. It has recovered to the highs right here, which is pretty, pretty, pretty strange. And uh, because the market has been starting to pick up to the upside again, and this largely depends on the fundamentals. So let's see how it opens. Let's see how it goes. Daily time frame, it's perfectly bullish. Four hourly time frame, let's see what do we have right here. Uh, where the market opens, 25th right here, somewhere at the top. We tried to push down, we pulled back potential short opportunity right here. The market created a new lower low. Failed to break below, found support because this price usually always fails to break 
uh, below supportive level. Sometimes it does, but then it will encounter another one because overall this market will move up if we're not in a bear market, right? So we always have to be looking for a better price to buy it rather than sell it. But, but this is just my psychology. If some of you guys know uh, uh, some good uh, people that know how to trade this one, because I'm quite interested in it, and I'm quite honest with you, I, I haven't uh, created a strategy around this one. It doesn't work much better with mine. So uh, yeah, uh, just looking at the technicals, we tried to push down, but we found support. We tried to push up again, lower high, potential another short, if we believe this is a lower high. But then again, the market very clearly failed to break below this one, strong push above, pullback, consolidation, and then end up the week strongly bullish. So what to expect on this one? Well, we have to see a potential a strong break above this whole area of resistance. This one and this one, strong break above, retest, and then continuation up. Overall bullish, but I still have my thoughts of the markets uh, plummeting uh, in a few weeks. So let's see what happens and I will be waiting to buy stocks and not trade NASDAQ. So... <laughs> So yeah, guys, this is for me. I really hope you appreciated the analysis. You found it helpful and you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment because I really appreciate your comments, guys. Hit the like button to support the channel. I would really appreciate it. And uh, just to let you know that this video as well is sponsored by Trading and Cold Training. Link will be down in the description. There are trustworthy single providers. So make sure to check them out, check their services out. And uh, yeah, so again, thank you for staying up until now. I really appreciate you guys. And I cannot wait to see you on my next video.